Hello everyone and welcome to this Hearthside Chat. My name is Frodan. I am the host of Hearthstone Grandmasters, but today I am joined by John Yang, senior game designer, to talk about progression and achievements, one of the most anticipated things to come to Hearthstone ever. So John, talk to me about why we're here today. That's right, I'm excited. This is Hearthstone's biggest systems update ever, progression and achievements. We know how important progression and rewards are to everyone, so we want to take the time to do this right and make this core part of the game awesome. We wanted to give you more goals to aim for, more ways to progress toward those goals, and more flexibility with when to earn rewards during an expansion. There's four major parts for us to go over today. There's a new achievement system, a new reward track, a revamp of our quest system, and a profile page. John, everything you're saying, I'm loving it as a longtime Hearthstone fan. Let's start off from the very beginning. Achievements, they're so cool with all the kinds of things that you can add to Hearthstone. So tell me how achievements are coming to Hearthstone. All right, so I love achievement hunting. I'm very excited for us to finally, at long last, add them to Hearthstone. As you can see, there are many categories of achievements, from gameplay, to collection, to modes, and everything in between. One of my favorite categories is gameplay achievements, which are achievements that you can complete in a normal game of Hearthstone. Here you'll find achievements like resurrect six minions with the Zoth, or kill your opponent with the Zoom. These already look really fun. I can't wait to unlock them. I think people are wondering about other game modes as well, like Battlegrounds. Do you have gameplay achievements for them as well? We've got you covered. In the modes category, you'll find achievements for all of our future and existing game modes, including Battlegrounds. For example, control the Amalgam while not playing as the Curator, or place 30 hats on a single minion using Dancing Daryl. I don't think I've ever placed that many hats on a single minion as Dancing Daryl, but I certainly will try to now. Let's talk a little bit about other kinds of achievements, not just gameplay. What else do we have here today, John? There's also collection achievements. If you've ever wanted to track how much of a card set you've collected, you'll be able to see here. But in addition to providing a snapshot of your collection, we've added rewards. For example, for collecting 135 different cards in an expansion, you'll unlock the expansion's collectible coin. These cosmetic coins go into your collection manager, and you can apply them to your decks the same way card backs work. Now, I know I said 135 different cards, and that's a pretty tall order. When Darkmoon Fair launches, that means you'll need every single card in the expansion, including every legendary. But when the Darkmoon Fair mini set launches a couple months later, there'll be 170 cards in the set. So actually, in order to unlock this cosmetic coin, you don't even need any legendaries. Awesome. Uh, this is so exciting to hear. I love it. Is there anything else that you have for us in terms of achievements? Achievements are a system that we're going to be consistently adding to and expanding over time. Whenever we add a new expansion, a new game mode, or a major update of the game, you can expect a new set of accompanying achievements. Which brings us to our second topic, rewards. I think people are really interested about the subject of gold and how rewards really work into it. And there's a lot of rumors. Are you taking away players' gold at all? And if you aren't, then what is the new rewards EXP system actually doing then? We're absolutely not taking away any of the gold you can earn. One of the goals of the new progression system is to give you more gold, more rewards, more cosmetics for all players. No matter if you play the game 10 hours or 1,000 hours in expansion, you should be expecting to be more rewarded for your time. What we're doing is putting most of the game's rewards in one place, the new reward track. It's a clear, central location for you to see what you've earned and what you have to look forward to earning. There's also some benefits. One, you'll have more flexibility in when and how to earn those rewards. For example, in the current system, if you miss a daily quest, that gold is gone forever. In the new reward system, if you miss a daily quest, it's not the end of the world. You can simply make up for that down the line by playing more Hearthstone. The reward track also provides a structure for us to place bigger milestone rewards along the way. For example, at level 25, you get a legendary card, and at level 50, you get your choice of up to 10 different hero skins. One thing I really like is that this lays out the rewards really clearly and helps us visualize everything. And that makes me feel like I can set my own goals and pace based on my own time availability instead of having to just, you know, feel like I'm grinding every single day of every single week. Yeah, I mean, you can choose when during expansion to play and earn these rewards. If you want to play a lot at the beginning, if you want to play during the middle when the mini set comes out, it's really up to you. So we have a lot of cool rewards to look forward to. And I think we're wondering, does this change the Tavern Pass at all? Because I hear there might be a Battle Pass coming to Hearthstone. 
Yes, the Tavern Pass is changing. With the new Tavern Pass, you get a Golden Legendary and an XP bonus toward the Roar Track immediately. You can also play the game and earn a Hero Skin, a Card Pack, two sets of upgradable Hero Skins, and a collectible coin. Okay, can you clarify a little bit more what upgradable Hero Skins means exactly? So upgradable Hero Skins are a set of three Hero Skins for the same hero, but they get increasingly awesome as you level them up. For example, he's pretty cool. But when you unlock the tier 2 version, he gets even better, and the tier 3 version is super mega awesome. And you can apply any of these hero skins to your hero portrait as normal. Alright, so there's so many cool rewards to try and earn. How do we make progress along that reward track? So there's two main ways you make progress along the reward track. Quests, and playing the game in any game mode. The quest system is changing. First, daily quest gold has moved into the reward track, as we mentioned and daily quests now award you experience along that reward track. But that's not all. We've also added weekly quests. At the beginning of the week, you'll get three new weekly quests, and you can complete them anytime during the week. They're a little bit more challenging, but because you have the flexibility of the entire week to complete them, we think they'll add a little bit more fun to the game as well. I can still reroll that quest, right? Even though it's a weekly quest? You can absolutely reroll your weekly quests just like daily quests, one per day. So I'm getting a lot of goals, a lot of progression, having a lot more fun as an engaged Hearthstone player, which brings us to our last topic, which is the profile page. John, how are we expanding the profile page to make me look better so I'm maximizing my fun here? So last but not least, we've put together a new profile page that showcases all the things you can do in Hearthstone. On the first page, you can see your rank or rating in all of Hearthstone's different game modes, including duels, which we'll talk about soon. On the second page, you can see an overview of your class progress, including your levels for each class and your number of wins in Ranked or Arena. The profile page is a space we plan to continuously build on and expand in the future as we add more to the game. So this is not even the final version of that profile page. You'll continue to be iterated and we'll see even more cool stuff in the future, you think? Absolutely, this is not the final form. All right, John, well, this has been such a great time. I had one final overarching question. Philosophically, it felt like the Hearthstone team was pretty hesitant over the years to add these cool features, despite being asked about it for a long time. So why now, John? I think Hearthstone team wants to do a lot more than we have time for. Last year, we prioritized building and launching Battlegrounds as soon as possible, due to the team's excitement around auto battle and game modes. This year, we really wanted to focus on progression, achievements, and rewards, because we know how important that is to all of our players. All right, I can't wait. It's going to be a great time. I'm super excited. And that does it for this edition of Hearthside Chat. For Frodan and John Yang, make sure to head over to playhearthstone.com for all the information, and we'll see you next time. Yeah!